Hello everybody, it is Marty McConnell, the Off-Grid Gecko. I just got off work, that's why I'm covered in crap. Today I'm going to be answering a couple questions. I posted about this Black Max trimmer uh, two weeks ago. And all of a sudden that video is getting a lot of attention and we've got some questions. I love comments. So first of all, thanks you guys for the subscriptions and stuff and all the comments. I, uh, I appreciate having a little dialogue back and forth on my channel, believe it or not. Um, so the first question is going to be about the string. Um, I know this is going to probably come up again and again. This is what I got. It is Weed Warrior 0 0.95 inch or 0 0.095 inch diameter. Um, and it says commercial twisted trimmer line on it. So WeedWarrior.com or your local Walmart. This little sticker right here, okay? It's got E10, E15, and E85. And E15 and E85 are crossed out, okay? And next to that it says never use fuel containing more than 10% ethanol. So for ECEC, -E cool name. Um, yeah, this is common with two cycle engines, okay? Ethanol is bad for two cycle engines. Most gasoline sold today is E10. So if they don't label it or you don't see it posted or advertised somewhere, you're probably getting E10 gas unless they say otherwise. If uh, normally you'll see a sign that says no ethanol added or you might see like a little label at the pump somewhere. If you look around all the little warning labels and stuff on the pump, um, every once in a while uh, there will be a little clue in that it's E10 gas. But that's normally what you're going to find. So if in doubt, you got the right gas. Don't worry about it. If you can avoid using ethanol at all, if you have a store that carries regular unleaded that doesn't have any ethanol in it, that's probably the best thing for two cycle motors. Because what will happen is that ethanol and the gasoline are mixed together, right? But they're not perfectly mixed. Like they don't make a perfect solution. So if you let it sit for a long period of time, the two different fluids will actually separate out. It's not quite as obvious as oil and water, but they will separate to some degree and the ethanol will get into your carburetor and it'll gum it up and you'll have to take the thing apart and clean it. And that's a big mess and probably um, better left to someone who works on small engines, but tell them what kind of gas you're running through it and they're gonna know right where the problem is. So if it doesn't start on you, or if you start having trouble with the engine not wanting to run after it warms up, um, yeah, you got issues. So, EC, EC, don't worry about the gasoline, man, you're, uh, or woman. You're, you might be stressing about something that's non-issue. Unless you live in some magical utopian city where all the gas is E85, um, then you might run into problems and you may want to look around for somebody who sells gas that's regular unleaded or at least they don't put the high ethanol content in it. So don't worry about the gasoline. What you do want to worry about is make sure that you put the right amount of the little two-stroke engine oil in your gas tank while you're filling it because uh, if you don't have that engine oil in there then you're going to have more problems and that engine oil can actually gum up your carburetor too. So just give your gas jug a nice shake before you fill it up. If you're not going to use the thing for more than, say, a month, it's probably best to just drain the gas tank um, and run it until it just stops running and it starves for gas. So you can make sure that all the gas is out of here. That way it doesn't get up in there and settle out. Next question is from Christopher and Stephanie Eads and Grenier. Did I pronounce that right? Are you French? Um, and it has to do with string trimmer line, which is why I started really making this video. Let me turn this up a bit. Get a little more light on the situation. So the, strim the string trimmer on this is pretty simple, like most string trimmers. And it's got these two little push tabs on it. There's one right here, and there's one on the opposite side. There's two little arrows on the black part, and there is two little, or a little arrow with two arrowheads on the white part. Okay, so to replace a string trimmer line, 
or in this case I've got a weird you know I've got string trimmer coming out of one side nothing coming out of the other side that's bad because it's gonna spool up in there and cause a problem so I'm gonna go ahead and take this head off whenever you push this basically it unloads that little spring in there and then the string can come out freely that's why you tap it on the ground the string gets longer and then it gets cut off by this little edge down here at the bottom cut dried grass all up in here I need to clean this thing um, but basically yeah you just push these two little tabs and this parts gonna pop off okay and there's a little spring right here don't lose it it's about an inch in diameter so it's easy to see um, and then just pop this little guy out if you have to normally you don't have to do this but if you get down to where you got a little dangle on each end and you're out of string all you have to do is line these arrows up with each other and then just pull that string out you know push down on the, the white nub if you have to unspool it a little bit and then pull it out but I imagine you guys are more concerned with what do I do if it's empty and there is no string oh no and this little thing just pops off the top too it's not on there real good so slide that guy back on there it all goes together rather there easily so this is the scenario that's going to happen inside when you're out of string and when that happens put this guy back together now snap when that happens you won't have any string here or that's when you'll pull out that last little dongle the reason that these arrows are here is because there's a slot in this part and there's a slot in the spool and there's a slot on the outside for the string to go through so these arrows show you where that slot is basically so when you line these up like say you you get started and they're turned like this and you're out of string and you manage to get the string out well you still need to line this up to put new string in okay so just turn that and it just turns easily by hand um, until those arrows are lined up then you're gonna get your string and normally you're gonna want to cut off about 15 feet or so how much do I got left here six feet but I don't want to waste it so what I like to do is take the two ends of the long piece and pull them so I know about where the center is so it'll be right here and then I'll just grab on to one side of that or the other and uh, use that as kind of like a measurement marker it's not really that important it's just you know physics brain so I do things like that and then you just push it in the hole basically you might have to worm it in there a little bit at first but if those arrows are lined up that string is going to go straight through okay so just pull that through and you can check them and make sure they're about the same size after it's through if you want to that's cool and then you just grab this white part with one hand grab the black part with your other hand and start twisting always twist to the right that would be clockwise for those of you who don't have black so I'm just gonna twisty that down until I've got these about you know a little shorter or about the same length as this guy and then when I fire it back up all I gotta do is give it one tap string a length in it'll trim itself off and then you're good to continue cutting that's literally all there is to it um and a lot of times you don't even have to take this black cap off it's just if the string gets jammed up in there or twisted and bound up where it doesn't want to come out when you pull on it and you'll notice if you push this button you can actually pull on the string and it will unload a little bit at a time so you can also take it back out if you want to you put it back in push your left string in you pull your left string out do the hokey pokey and you shake it all about yeah I mean it's nothing complicated about it and you're gonna find most string trimmers are about the same both on the gas and on this part so um, this is probably applicable to a lot of string trimmers not just the black mass max and certainly um, this thing's sister Ryobi which I think they share a lot of parts um, same deal man it's pretty simple stuff um, it looks intimidating at first the first time you look at it if you've never done it before but once you do it once or twice it's like 
you're not even gonna worry about it anymore. And then you'll be the expert uh, telling your neighbors when they get their new string trimmer how to change their spring strings. You'll look extra smart. But that's all for now. I gotta go wash concrete off of me. If you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you got any friends that you think might enjoy my channel, um, tell them to check it out too. You guys have a good one. Stay safe out there. And remember to keep the spinny end of the trimmer away from your body so you don't cut off any, any body parts. Have a good day.